begin with a developing story. We now know the names of three people killed in a plane crash in Kokomo. The Howard County Sheriff's Office says the pilot, 63-year-old Gerald Long, 17-year-old passenger Liam Kelly, and 15-year-old Reese Kelly were killed. Now, they're brothers, the two there. An 18-year-old survived the crash and remains hospitalized at this moment. We have also learned new details of what happened just moments before the single-engine aircraft crashed into a field near the Glendale Airport yesterday morning. Morning. For that, we turn to our Charlene Cristobal. Well, deputies say that Long, who was piloting that plane, was approaching the airstrip to land. And at some point in time, the plane hit a power line pole. That caused it to nosedive into a cornfield where it caught on fire. Now, this happened around 11 yesterday morning. Deputies say when they got to the scene, the 18-year-old survivor was getting help from bystanders. He told authorities that he was in the back of the plane when the crash happened. Police say the three teens on board were all members of the Flying Squirrels Club. They were all at an annual Glendale Days barbecue bash going on at the airport when the crash happened as well. Now that event is put on with the help of the Kokomo chapter of the Experimental Aircraft Association or the EAA. They released a statement to us saying that the four were volunteering for the weekend and wanted to take a flight before it got too busy. The crash happened as they were coming back to the field. The statement goes on to say the airport community and families are completely devastated. Please pray for everyone involved. Now the NTSB is investigating the crash and the cause. Autopsies are expected to be performed sometime tomorrow. We'll of course stay on top of this and bring you any updates as soon as we have them. For now, I'll send it back to you. NTSB investigators are looking into three other aircraft crashes in three states as well. In Texas, four people were killed when a small plane crashed yesterday. The other two happened in Illinois and in Michigan.